this chapter you we are going to study some important formulas and its derivation you have to study and by using the formulas how to do the problem so the first formula we are going to study is distance formula distance formula okay distance formula means how to find the distance between any two points in a plane that is known as distance formula so this is the plane in this plane if two points are marked like this how to find the distance between these two points p and q that we are going to derive that is known as distance formula so suppose for deriving the formula i uh, am considering that two points are lying in the first quadrant we can take anywhere after deriving the formula we can change the numbers that's all so now i am taking these two points are lying in the first quadrant so i am taking p point as x1 y1 and q point as x2 y2 so point means always it contains two values this is called x coordinate it is called y coordinate here it is called x coordinate and it is called y coordinate so this is our x axis and y axis this is the origin point now for deriving the formula I am drawing a perpendicular P M to the x-axis, Q N to the x-axis first. Again, I am drawing a perpendicular P R from P to Q N. So three constructions we did. Draw P M. perpendicular to the x axis qn perpendicular to the x axis pr perpendicular to qn now while doing these constructions here we got what type of triangle a right angle the triangle we got in this right angle the triangle this pq is known as the hypotenuse pq is the hypotenuse so there we can apply pythagoras theorem how to apply pythagoras theorem pq square is equal to pr square plus qr square so before applying the pythagoras theorem now all these line segments pr qr pq everything we are going to write in terms of x1 y1 and x2 y2 okay so this is the point from there i drawn one perpendicular like this so this particular point is x1 unit away from the y axis okay this distance always the same so this much length om means x1 it is x1 away from the y axis so what is om om is equal to x1 similarly this distance mp is same as y1 it is the height of the particular point so pm is equal to y1 similarly this point is x2 y2 from there if we draw a perpendicular this distance this much distance see distance this distance all the distance is same so this distance and this distance equal means we can tell that on is equal to x2 and this is the height what is that height q n is equal to y2 okay now you just you see pr pr is same as mn this length and this length equal 
But what is M I U C? It is equal to O N minus O M. O N minus O M. O N minus O M. What is O N? X two. O M X one. So P R we got X two minus X one. Now we want Q R. Q R you see how much is Q R? It is Q N minus N R. Q N minus N R. But what is N R? It is same as P M. So we can write Q N minus P M. It is equal to Y two minus Y one. So we got P R is equal to X two minus X one. Q R is equal to Y two minus Y one. Now in right triangle P Q R by Pythagoras theorem, we can write P Q square is equal to P R square plus Q R square. So P Q square is equal to X two minus X one whole square plus Y two minus Y one whole square. But we want P Q. We don't want P Q square. We want distance. So P Q is equal to root of X two minus X one whole square plus Y two minus Y one whole square. Again, if we want the this, we can write. X one minus X two whole square plus Y one minus Y two whole square. Why? Because square is always a positive quantity. X two minus X one whole square. Just you see, a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus two ab plus b square. What is b minus a whole square? It is b square minus two ab plus a square. Both the terms are Same. So what we can tell? A minus b whole square and b minus a whole square are equal. So x two minus x one whole square. If we want, we can write x one minus x two whole square also. So what is the distance formula? Distance between two points P and Q, P Q is equal to root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one. Whole square by heart the formula distance formula P Q is equal to root of x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. 